Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft in Ubuntu 13.04. Now, in my past Minecraft installation videos, I pretty much showed you how to install Minecraft manually. This time, I'm just going to be running through a script that I wrote, and uh, this script basically downloads Java, uh, installs Minecraft, uh, creates the launcher, and it also updates LWJGL to get rid of the stuck keys bug. I've tested this script in Ubuntu 12.10 and 13.04. It seems to work about 99% of the time. Uh, if you're using it on a distribution other than those two, I can't really help you. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just going to jump straight into it. So uh, once you get it downloaded, you're going to have this mcinstaller.zip file. You're just going to go ahead and extract that. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into this mcinstaller folder. And we're going to right click. Uh, install.sh and go to properties and uh, we're going to double check that this allow executing files program is ticked uh, if it is then that's fine go ahead and close that and we're going to open a terminal we're going to change directories to where we downloaded that uh, if you just download it off the web it should be in your downloads folder so we're going to do cd downloads um, then we're going to do ls and if you see mc installer that means it's there so we're going to do cd mc installer then we're going to do another ls um, and we see it install.sh is there and that's what we need and uh, again if it's green here install.sh is green here when you do ls uh, that means it's an executable and uh, you're good to go if it's white you need to go back and make sure you tick that allow executing files program so uh, once we're here it's pretty simple we just do uh, full stop slash uh, install.sh and then hit enter it's going to ask you for your password go ahead and key that in and it's going to run through uh, the first thing it's doing right here is uh, installing Java and all of its dependencies. The next thing it's going to do is go ahead and download Minecraft. Uh, this takes just a second and then this window here comes up. It's telling you that it's going to launch Minecraft um, and what you need to do is log into it and wait for the title screen to show up and then close Minecraft and the installation will continue automatically. So we're going to tell it OK. We'll give it a second to launch Minecraft. And here we go. Any second now. And there's Minecraft. Okay. So now we're just going to log in. And you don't actually have to wait for the title screen. Um, in the screen where it's downloading the packages, as soon as you see it say done, you can go ahead and close the window. And if you do that, it makes Minecraft close a little faster, so it's less of a wait time. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready up here. And when this says done, you can go ahead and close it really quickly. So, now. And we can see now that it's updating LWJGL for Minecraft. This takes just a second. And done. And you can see it went ahead and created the launcher up here. So I can press enter. That exits the script. We can close this window now. We have the launcher up here. We can click this. And Minecraft should launch. There it is. Go ahead and log in. And here we go. And there you have it. Minecraft running. Um, so the script really simplifies everything. All you have to do is pretty much type your password in and uh, wait a little bit, log into Minecraft, and then you're done. So uh, a couple of things about the script. It, it, it installs LWJGL version 2.9, I believe, is the latest as of right now. I'm going to be updating it um, as they come out. So always make sure you check back for a, a newer version of the script. That way you'll have the latest version of LWJGL. Um, and another thing, this Minecraft.png here, if you want your icon to be different, you can just go ahead and substitute any other icon right here for this one. As long as it's named Minecraft.png, it'll be set as the launcher's icon. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope this helped you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll try to assist you if I can. And again, if you're not on Ubuntu 12.10 or 13.04, I'll look into it, but I'm, I can't really help you because I don't use those any other distributions anymore. I barely use 12.10 anymore, so if you're using 12.10, you might not get as much attention as uh, as the people using 13.04. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time. <laughs>